What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast, and with me, as always, is my buddy, Mike. What's going on, Chris? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. If you celebrate Christmas, if you don't, Merry happy Christmas. holidays. Uh, guys, thank you so much for all of your uh, responses and your questions on this, our fourth uh, Q&A. Uh, not our fourth Walking Dead yes. Q&A, just in general, right? Our fourth in general. I believe. Our fourth in general, yes. Yeah, uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, again, I just want to right off the bat say thank you very much for that. We got a, we got a bunch of questions. We're going to just jump right in uh, to these questions. We didn't uh, we we took most of your questions. We didn't we didn't take all of them. Some of them uh, we we answered on the on the page on the YouTube channel under yes. the video. Uh, but we did, but there were some that we just wanted to answer, you know, on the video here too. So if we didn't get to your question, we apologize. Hopefully our answering these questions fulfills a void for you or fills a void, I should say. Um, all right, enough talk. Um, let's just jump into it. Our first yes. one is going to be from Nicholas, uh, from the tube. And he says, what in your opinion was the most disappointing part of season eight right now? Mike, you want a real quick, uh, sure. I think that a lot of the flip-flopping of characters in in this in this season and kind of a, a bothered me a bit i mean let's see how long the all-out war drags out that's a bit of an annoyance to me but i think overall i think the carl um getting bit and us having to lose carl now kind of bothers me the most because we know what kind of a character he becomes especially in the comic book you know what i mean yeah so it's a little premature for me for him dying uh, at, in this in this manner as well. Yeah. Um, I, I'll say for me, um, at this point, a lot, a lot was disappointing. The first four, <laughs> the, <laughs> the first four episodes was really good, and then after that, the fight with Rick, him going to the garbage pail people, um, Tara and Daryl messing mm -hmm. that thing up. Everybody, like you said, yeah. flip flopping, and all of a sudden, yep. like going yep. back on what what they all said, like. I didn't like any of that. So right now I'm not very happy and, and I'm just going to leave it. We're going to leave it at that. So uh, yeah. that's the answer to that. Mike, let's move on let's to the next it. one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. We're going to go uh, from uh, Alyssa Jett writes in. Um, hey, guys, uh, do you think we're going to get Negan breaking Rick's leg? Um, and if you don't know and if you don't want spoilers from uh, the comic, because this is a comic question, more or less, um, maybe skip to the next to question three, but um, it's going to be we we let, let's put it this way from from the um, from Rick's premonition or Rick's dream or whatever flash we got forward, whatever you want to call yeah, it. his flash yeah. forward. You know, it, we did see that old man Rick thing, and obviously from the comic book, that's a big part of you know who Rick becomes, and the reason he has the cane and all that stuff is because he does indeed get into a fight with Negan, and Negan breaks Rick's legs. It doesn't heal properly, and that's why we get Rick in that scene um you know what i wouldn't mind seeing it but i'm just really glad that we never got rick's hand getting severed by the governor i remember when we were still going through that part of walking dead in season three the whole woodbury scene i was hoping that that wasn't going to be the case because we know that's a real graphic you know especially that's a real graphic part of the comic book and what what the governor does and how right. he tortures Michonne yeah. and and what he does to Rick. So um in this case with the with with, with Rick and Negan, I'm I'm hoping it's gonna be a great fight and I'm assuming that it's gonna happen and I really wouldn't mind if it if it does. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um I agree. What do you think? Nope, I agree. I'm gonna let that one slide, <laughs> yeah. Okay, before we head over to question three, I just want to apologize if you see any any problems with the video uh, we, we do do this online over webcam and, uh, Mike's webcam has been giving us a lot of crap today. So, it's a bastard. so if he, if he goes in and out of sync with his audio, we, you know, video and audio, you know, if you're listening to us on iTunes or something like that, just audio version, then you won't know that that's a problem. But if you guys are watching it, we apologize. But yes. again, it's just two dudes sitting here. It's not like it's anything crazy happening. So on with question three, <laughs> question three is again from our buddy Nicholas. He says, who and this is a fun one for me. Who is more cringeworthy, Andrea or Garbage People? Now I'm gonna I'm gonna start this off because I loved ragging on Andrea. I hated I hated her character so much. Mm. I used to do um, my own version of this with uh, like uh, zombie video game gameplay. Um, I back in season three when we had the governor and everything. I did my own 
version of third person like this, right? Where I used to talk about the show. Anyway, I hated Andrea. I hated her. But I have to say, Jadis and the and the garbage pail people are the worst. They're they're they even are. worse. I'll take ten Andreas, and that's a lot, over these garbage people. I hate them. Yeah. So definitely more I have cringeworthy. To- <laughs> I have to agree with you. I mean, Andrea had a lot of potential to make her character uh, beloved, yeah. especially with all the opportunities she had to kill the governor. Yep. Um, but yeah, by far, she's much better than these garbage pail people. It's, it's kind of funny because we talk about what's going on in the new season with the with, with these couple of new groups that we got introduced to with the, the Oceanside people and um the, the 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 scavenger people we haven't seen much we had like one or two little episodes with the other science people we haven't even heard from them again it was yeah, kind of yeah. odd that they introduced they introduced this whole other group after and they've gotten so much more screen time than 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 ocean side so it's kind of weird how these these other groups but yeah totally totally andrea uh, much much better than Oceanside as well. I can't fucking stand what they're doing with with these other. Oh yeah, true, true. These All other right. groups. Cool. Okay, question number four is from our friend uh, Kirby Freeman. Now Kirby's got five questions. Yeah, he so, had a see. <laughs> so, but we figured, you know what? Let's answer them all. But we're all going to—it's going to be a speed round, all right? So we're going to do yes. it real quickly, all right? So I'm going to read yes. them off. We're going to answer them, and we're going to move on. So here we go. Number one: What do you guys think about Jadis and Junkyard People plotline? Is it dumb or something new and interesting? We already answered that. We did, yes, see question number three. Uh, number two: Who is the most improved character? Ooh, this is a good question. My favorite one out of you, Kirby. Um, I would have to say um, Carol. I'd probably have to say Carol. Yes, Carol. Carol. We've agreed. Carol. Oh, Boom. Yes. Three. <laughs> What character or characters overstayed their welcome? Ready? Three, two, one. Tara. Oh, I think so. Tara. I must agree with Tara. Um, yeah. Tara. Maybe Morgan's time, I think, is also done, too. Yeah, possibly. Okay, number four. Is Carl and Chandler Riggs behind the scene blown out of proportion? E- yes. <laughs> I think so too. There's a lot of leaked stuff. We got a lot of images from from Chandler Riggs cutting his hair. He cut his People hair, going crazy. And Chandler, I mean, yeah, yeah he's done. He's ready. And... His dad was. His dad wanted him to work. <clears throat> he had this other con. You know what? Chandler's done. He's fine. He needs to move on. Good for him. Yes. He looks good with a haircut. <laughs> uh, love you, buddy. Good luck. Uh, number five, um, and according to Kirby, this is the big one. Is Daryl mm-hmm. Issa's character now? Um, my answer: He's getting there. <laughs> It's tough, dude. I've been saying this. A lot of flip flopping stuff been going on. We have, you know, um, the, the, all the Carols flip flopping, and Morgan, and now Jesus. And which now has been everybody. Too, and now, How about everybody? Yeah, it's it's, it's um, annoying. It's that it's point so where Daryl would always be like that bright side. Rick would always be that bright side because they never really the character re- really um, never changes. They're always kind of stuck to their guns, and yeah, it's oh. it's tough. I know what it is, man. Because it's raining by us, that's why. It could be. It's it been raining be. all day here. Mike and I, obviously, we live we live relatively close to each other. Yeah. Um, so why aren't we just doing this in person? Because we're not, guys. All right, we're we're at each other's <laughs> home. We're at our own homes. Uh, uh, but it's raining here, and it's raining pretty bad. Yes. Um, but so yeah, I yeah, man, I he, he's getting there for me. It, it's getting to a point where all you know what all the characters are became are becoming annoying. Um, yeah. Let's move on. The last thing he said, uh, and this, I guess, is more of a personal for the channel, is where the third person at? <laughs> where the third person at? Uh, if you if you just if you started watching this channel um, when it was just Mike and I, we did have a, a third guy, Jesse, who who started out with us. Um, unfortunately, yeah. uh, Jesse ended up having uh, to get a, a job overnight, and he's been unable to get a job <laughs> during yeah, the day. Just since. the recording times so, and the yeah, way between, we do everything. Between and... when, when we all get together, you know, to record this, you know, we we record later at night when yeah. everyone's done working. Mike works a later. Schedule, it's, a, it's just a schedule it's thing. It's a scheduling thing. Yeah. Um, but it's also that, go ahead, you want to say it? And well, it just doesn't necessarily mean that third person. It's more the perspective uh, right. where we're giving you, um, you know, the, 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 the answers to your questions from. It doesn't necessarily mean that there was three. I mean, we could literally person, have five three people, people on here uh, yeah, it at just some happens. point. And yeah, so anyway, but that's it. So Kirby, thank you so much for all those questions. Thank you, sir. And continue watching, Kirby. Yeah, I'm glad you, you submitted all those questions yeah. to us. All right, we're going to go to our question five Cinco. from Alyssa Jett. Uh, one of my biggest questions involves Morgan's crossover. Why tell us this before our show even ends this year? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I think because they're trying to get people uh, 
a little amped up, right? To for, watch for fear. fear. Yeah, I think they're trying to run fear. Yes. More, you know, look, I, it's, I mean. It's, it's added hype. I think it also has to do with the, um, with the, um, the rec- they're, they're, they're recording now. They're, they're filming now, I should say, of uh, fear. And he had so to, before. Are you saying before they started I, getting yeah, set photos and leaks and all mm-hmm. that kind of? I think that yeah. might have to do with it. Um, but I think, like we said in the beginning, I think number one is is that um, they want to hype up um, fear well, because don't forget, obviously Gimple, it's not doing well. Gimple's and, running fear too now, so yeah, I think that's what it is. They're trying. Why do you? Why do you? Let me ask you this: Why do you think that they have Skimple? Uh, Skimple. Skimple. Why do you? <laughs> Scott Kimple, Skimple. Yeah, Skimple. That, there we go. What do you think Skimple uh, took over fear? What's your number one reason I don't know, because he would do such a thing? I actually, ratings. Don't you think it's the ratings? Well, it's ratings, maybe- but I thought he was going to do better on – I thought I was like, oh, good, he is. But then all of a sudden he's running this season, and I'm like, nope. I don't I don't like it. I don't yeah. I don't like what he's doing. All right, so, yeah, so <laughs> that's probably going on with that. All right, let's, let's, let's keep moving along. Yes, sir. Numero six from our buddy Kid Slap 13. He says, yes. with all the talk about the show not being renewed yet for season nine and talks about Andrew Lincoln's contract ending, do you believe we could expect uh, The Walking Dead to end much sooner than we think? Um, and do you think that Gimple would kill off Rick? After all, it did kill off Carl, and who the hell thought that was going to happen? Um, big, listen, time, big time question. I mean, the fact that they did kill Carl, I don't. I have no idea. I have no to, meaning they can do at this point they could do whatever they want you know what i'm saying like at this point obviously they can do whatever they want but i'm saying at this point i i i, I honestly don't i thought i knew where this was possibly gonna go but i i really mm-hmm. don't now so they i think that they could kill off rick and if they did i think the show would be over or are they gonna end it sooner <sighs> That's weird because up until the last few seasons, even the last couple seasons, you would think that this show had the potential and everybody always spoke about how long the show can go, 20 seasons, 15 seasons. You know, it's following the comic um, plot lines uh, to the T for the most part. So it's like there's so much more of the comic to, that's that's obviously it's still being written. So we, you know, this, this show was could have been endless, but I think in Rick's, with Rick and and um, uh, his character and Andrew Lincoln, obviously, I think it all depends on what he wants to do. He they, they're not going to give him the kind of clout that that kind of um, option to. I don't think they would kill him off. I think they would give him the option to say, "Hey, listen, dude, what do you want to do?" Right, you know what okay, I mean? Yeah, I yeah. don't think that he has that kind of. Um as far as like Carl, they can kill Carl off. He's a young kid. He doesn't have that. You know what I mean? Rick runs all. Yeah. So I think that they would definitely give him an option. I think it's going to go based more upon how long he feels like he wants to do the show. Yeah. Yeah. He might, he Um, might want to move on too. He might, he might not like, yeah. I mean, you want to get typecasted. You know what I mean? There's a typecasting thing. Does he ever want to just feel like he's always going to be looked at? That's a weird Rick Grimes, but that's a weird, that's a weird typecast because think about it to me. That's not an actual, it's just a, you know, you know who I see, I see getting more typecast would be, um, John Bernthal. I mean, he's the Punisher because I I think it was Shane. Do you know so much, but what? I think everybody loved his Shane as a character. But that's my point, though. I don't think they see John Bernthal became the Punisher because he was Shane, because he showed that he could. Plus, if you've ever seen, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of things that he's in, and he just plays a ruffian, man. Now Andrew Lincoln, he's been in Love Actually, right? Was that the movie he was in? He's been in a bunch. Like he's just a British dude. He's a, he's a, he's like a well trained is good, good British actor. Mm-hmm. I don't think he's typecast. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't think being Rick Grimes is any type of typecast because what the hell what the hell role is that? <laughs> like it's just a dude that's like a good leader. If you're talking like a leader role, I mean I guess you know I Sam Jackson. So, but... Sam Jackson is typecast as Sam Jackson. <laughs> like you know not 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 as like a black dude that yells a lot and can curse a lot and and can be a hard ass he, he's yeah. sam jackson like that's his role like that's who he is keanu yeah. reeves keanu reeves is, is he typecast you know what i'm saying he's just is Ke- so i don't i don't think that he'd get typecast well just so, specifically you know? being you know it was hard for me to look at say um like ed o'neill you know 
um, with Married with Children. He was he's he's he'd always be to me like Al Bundy. But you see him like in this. Modern Family. Yeah, like, yeah. and it's it, I think it took a while for people to to look at him. Well, he was also out of the another. limelight for a while, unless you want to count Dutch. Yeah, Dutch was a great or film, Peggy though. Bundy. Those kind of people too. She was on. Um, What's Sons that one? Of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy. And now she's I think she's in man. another. Whatever it is, yeah. So it's just I think like you know in in I see in what the you're essence, saying, though, yeah. Yeah, it's um. Listen, dude, what shows, what series really last five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seasons? Yeah. You know, so regardless of what happens, I think he'll always have that. You know, he'll always be Rick Grimes to so many many people but it'll i think it'll be up to him and left up to him because if he goes if daryl goes if they kill any of those kind of main guys off like that um i think the show is 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 done but you know what i'll I'll say too real quick what's hard is that these are these this isn't a show that introduces this is a show that you have a group of people from day one all the way to now and everyone that they've Mm -hmm. introduced up to now has not had the amount of story and following as Mm -hmm. these main characters so if they were to they it would take like two or three seasons in my opinion to introduce a character that would be strong enough to take rick or daryl's place oh absolutely anyway okay let's move on absolutely yep so yeah good one good one kid thanks all right question number seven comes from joel s hello joel uh is sadiq a spy or potentially uh a whisperer um, this is going to be a little bit of comic spoilers if you don't yes. read the comics. Not crazy, but Sadiq is in the comic. Uh, he's played by a different type of person in the comic. Um, he's a main... He's actually... A, I would say he's a, he's on the B team in the comic. And, um, you know, he's not a whisperer. He's part of Alexandria, actually. Or is he... Is he still I, in Alexandria? Or is he part of the I haven't got now? to... I haven't, yeah, might, I haven't got he to might be. He might be the on comic. the kingdom right now. Because they kind of like in the comic, they kind of swapped around and they kind of like filled in. Or he might be on the hilltop. I'm not exactly sure. He might. Either way, <laughs> he's somewhere with the good guys. He's in the good. He's in the good guy camp. So, <laughs> so I don't think that he in the show now. I don't think they're doing anything with the whispers, especially if they haven't been renewed. We're not going to yeah. see anything about the whispers. People um, just want the fucking whispers because it's a really because it's the yeah. next. And if you don't know what the whisper is, we're sorry if we spoil anything. But it's the next big villain that our group of people have to go against after Negan. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. The, I, look, if, 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 if there's no season nine yet, they're not even going to, you know, and where are they going to go? I, I don't know. So, but, I mean, I listen, so. there's, there's theories going around crazy about the whispers. They've been whispering, you know, listen, if you go back to the Heath thing, when we haven't seen Heath now in ah, a season and a half so or whatever the fuck it is. Because he went on 24 and it didn't work yeah, out. Yeah, and we did. Uh, <laughs> there was that card, that key card with the PPP on it, which oh, it's, has man. to do with a specific sound yeah. and it's a whisper sound. So they've been hinting these no, whisper no, things. No, 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 no. Yes, no, yes, no, yes. No, no, no I, I know I, I, what you're saying is true, but what I'm saying but is these dumb I, things I are not they, true. Well, it's, I don't know. That key card thing kind of, I don't know if it necessarily means that they're going to introduce the whispers. I don't know anything like that at all, but I obviously the show left that card there with the three P's for a reason. That's for, you know, is, but Hey, listen, do I think that season nine is going to be renewed? Absolutely. Like, come on. I don't think that they would just sporadically just end the show. No, but yes, the whisperer thing, no, yeah. I don't think Sadiq is. Sadiq seems like he's a, a pretty good guy. And uh, I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen with him and what, 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 excuse me, what kind of character he's going to turn into in, in the next half. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yes. All right. Number eight. Bye. From Gina P. Do you think we will ever find out how the apocalypse began? <laughs> My answer is either no mm-hmm. or it'll be on the walking dead. I think that would be interesting. Um, I'm sorry. If we do, it'll be at the end of this. It'll be at the end of one or both of these shows. We, I agree. So either, either never, or it'll be at the end of one of these shows as the show ends. And I think it'd be on one, not both, because I think finding out on one would be cool for the other. I, that's my yeah. answer. I would, I think I would rather it see this is, this is, this is a cool question. And the fact that, 
would they want to spoil it? Obviously, we know that the comic is so much further than the comic still being written. So would they want to end? Say, say Walking Dead goes to the show, goes to season 10 or 11 or something like that, and they give us an ending where there's a hint or we see a specific scene where um, there's a bunch of scientists in a lab and, and they're talking. And we get like a, a glimpse of what may have happened or something. Would they Would that spoil the comic because it's still being written? I don't right. see the comic ending anytime soon. So I don't know if they'd want to. It's almost like a Game of Thrones thing. The, the book hasn't even been, the books haven't been finished, but the show is now the much further. Ending, it's, yeah. uh, it's an opposite. So um, it would kind of be cool to get an, uh, to get that. And like you said, I think it would be an end regardless of what vessel it is, if yeah, it's the right. comic book or if it's the show. Right. All right. Cool. 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 Moving on. Yeah. All right, we're up to question nine. A few to go. These next few tend to be about Carl, so we wanted to kind of cluster them together. So this question happens to be from our friend John Blaze, who wrote in, any luck, Carl could be immune to the bite? And do you think there will be any kind of time jump long enough to have Judith become a killer like Carl? <laughs> a killer like Carl. I like that. I like yeah, that. Well, yeah, first, yeah. let's... The, the the time jump in the comic um, is, I think, two years, right? It's two years, yeah. So if Judith on the show is a two-year-old kid, um, obviously that's only going to make her around four or five years old. I think old. she's like three, and, maybe even at this point. Yeah, so all right. So five years, four or five years old, yeah, like even six. Yeah. What is she really going to do? Um, if the time jump on the television show becomes a, a bit more substantial, if it's a five-year thing, if it's a six-year thing or something like that, because listen – in we spoke about this in in the uh, in Rick's premonition and his time jump and his fast forward thing. He seems much older. I don't think that's a two year Rick. No, age and increase. And you know if what I mean? that was and if that was Judith, was she's she eight, maybe like nine? seven, eight, nine. Yeah, like that's so. My so will she become a killer like Judith, uh, like um, like Carl? Yeah, I think maybe. she's going to be basically one of the first people to grow up in the world and know that there are monsters outside and know how to kill them from a very early age. I, yeah. I think they're going to put a knife in that little girl's hand as soon as they can. Why wouldn't you? Why the hell wouldn't you? Well, they're definitely going to train her. I think that yeah, she's going to get trained. So you know, yeah, the, yeah, she will be killer. Will the time regardless. jump happen? I don't know. Probably. I don't, not. I don't know. It I, would be, how about, how about, we'll put it this way. I think she'll be the next one to wear the hat. If anything. Not, yeah. <laughs> and that's not even but, here's the thing that's not even a thing well obviously judith dies in the comic so there's no judith in the she's, comic anyway, she's still but, very young she's yeah. still very young so even if uh, she has kind of ninja skills yeah she's a, a child and not very strong true and now going back to the first part is Car could carl be immune to the bite no no one's immune to the bite i don't think so either i nope. was telling you this off camera before we started recording that there's with the whispers, let's go back to the whispers that uh, I don't could, <laughs> could a whisper. And it's funny because I've seen this from other channels and I'm not trying to knock anybody. I'm not going to mention any channel names or anything like this, but there are um, videos out there saying how the, the, the Walker that bit Carl was a whisper. And I just think that people are just stretching and stretching oh, and stretching. They are reaching. Yeah, man. So, so yeah, just, it's, it's just. Here's the um, reason why it wasn't a whisperer. It moved yeah. like a zombie. The whisperers, the whisperers don't move don't like fight. zombies and have <laughs> knives. Why yeah. would they change it otherwise? Number one. Number two, if a whisperer did bite someone, yeah. they wouldn't turn, but they could die from infection because our mouths are disgusting and if another human bites another human and it's not treated, yes, that it could get infected and you could die. All right. Yes. So now we answered it. Moving <laughs> on. <laughs> and we are on to number 10. This is from our bud, Phil D. Thank you, Phil. Yep. Will Carl surrender to Negan before he dies or turns? Maybe even bite him. <sighs> uh, look, <laughs> they're not. That's a cool. That's a cool comic book thing. Mm. Are they going to do it in the show? Mm -mm, I don't think so. They're gonna make this as sad as possible. Oh hell yeah! They're hell gonna yeah. and it's gonna be and it's gonna you know bring Rick to his knees and then I think it's gonna fuel Nick, Nick, Rick. It's gonna. <laughs> I was gonna say I was thinking of Negan and I and I said went to say Rick so Nick, um, Fear the Walking Dead. So I think it I think it's gonna bring him to his knees and then yeah. he's gonna get fired up and it's gonna 
you know, in that it's going to be fuel to the fire. Yeah, for and that's, him he's going to gonna go after Negan. Negan not that, like not that. that it was Negan's fault because it Negan had nothing to do with this. It would have yeah. happened regardless. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. But- um well for i guess i guess for the most part it could have happened regardless but you know that's you know neither here nor there now absolutely anyway what absolutely. do you think you think he's going to surrender to negan i don't think so i agree with you 100 percent. but would it be cool because we see um and uh, like the the affection that that negan has to carl and that kind of idea that negan can change carl um because he feels like carl is is soft by being he's um, malleable he's Rick's, like yeah yeah, by being Rick's son. So it's um, it would be interesting to see how Negan would um, react to Carl dying. So, I mean, we spoke about this uh, in, I think it was it was the last, in the mid-season finale video about um, Carl going out heroically. Mm-hmm. Now, let's ask, let me ask you this, because um, I think it would be interesting. Do you think it's going to be? I mean, I see a hundred percent the whole. Oh, Dad, I'm sorry. I could have been better, you know, Michonne mm-hmm. kind of a thing, um, and then and then dying before he turns. But it would be really cool, and I think there is a chance it may happen. That Carl's like, no, fuck that. I'm gonna go out how I want to go out, and maybe do that Sasha kind of thing. Yeah, but it didn't work wouldn't out with rather, Sasha. But that's yeah. The but thing. wouldn't you rather him go out? No, I'd rather swinging. No, honestly, no. I I don't want to see him go after no? um, Negan and have him his head chopped off, or him get shot in the head, or stabbed in the head, or hit, or his head bashed in with Lucille. I don't want to see that. I'd rather no. him die with dignity. In that he saved the, his last act on this earth was to save this guy's life. Yeah. Again, putting this guy in a life debt for the rest of the show. But you know what I mean? Like that's I'd rather that. No, they're not. And and look, guys, Negan's not going to die. They're not going to kill Negan. I'm telling you right now, Negan's not going to die because he's a good addition to the show. And again, spoiler alert for the comic: he doesn't die in the comic. I won't say exactly what happens if you don't read the comic. He's alive in the comic and still kicking. So, yeah. and you know, there's reasons for that. That's what I want the show to get to, which I'm waiting for. But no, well, so, we'll see. We'll see what happens yeah, now. So that's there's not so many happen, que- right? Yeah, there's so many questions about how long the show is going to go. But all right, so yeah, good, uh, good, good question. Good stuff. So. Thank you, Phil. All right, our eleventh question is uh, from Kate, and I enjoy this question quite a bit. Mm-hmm. How will the other characters react to Carl's death? Now, she didn't write specifically which ones, but I want to pose to you, Chris, um, a couple characters and how you think that uh, Carl's Shoot. death will Shoot affect. Shoot me. Shoot him uh, at me. Enid. She's going to be upset. She's going to be upset, although they <laughs> haven't really been, you know, they haven't really been around each other lately because they've been in different parts. But, of course, she's going to be upset, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Michonne. Yeah, Michonne's, forget it. That she was like, he, he was basically calling her mom. So yeah. she's definitely going to be upset and it'll bring her to her knees too. And I think it's going to do the same thing I said about Rick, that it's going to f- after that, it's going to fuel her mm-hmm. to, to finish, you know? Yeah. Um, we kind of do, we kind of have an idea of what Rick's going to do. So I won't ask you for Rick, but what do you think Morgan will be? Obviously since Morgan already lost a son, um, do you think there'll be any kind of uh, dynamic between Rick and Morgan now yeah. because they can empathize, uh, empathize, uh, empathize. Em- I think, empathize yeah i mean i'd like i'd like to see that scene i'd like i like nick and damn it Mm. rick i like i (laughs) I was doing that all (laughs) Uh, i was doing that so much back when we started the fear of the walking dead thing called nick and rick and mick mix and now now you got that i don't i mean i i'd like to see i like them together i like when they do scenes together for the most part so i'd like to see rick and morgan you know morgan express Mm. um i don't think they're gonna make morgan do any of the his you know morgan stuff i think we've seen enough of it but yeah, yeah I, I think I think he he's going to empathize, like you said. I think it's going to be really interesting because we're going to see what difference and how the characters uh, Rick and Morgan will now react with having their sons taken away from them in this world. Right. You know what I mean? So it's going to be cool. We saw what happened with Morgan. We saw the clear uh, stuff, and and we'll, I'm sure we're going to get some of that now with Morgan crossing over. So we'll we'll maybe see what happens depending on where they started. There's a lot of theory out there of where Morgan's going to nah, start in fear, but is. if he does start um, relatively, um, uh, you know, not too far from when 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 Dwayne was bitten, we'll see what kind of character Morgan was 
you know, b- before we again seen him in Walking Dead and Clear. So, yeah, it's going to be cool to see how Rick now deals with this. And like you said, yeah. I think it's just going to fuel him and he's going to want to do some bad things to, to Negan. But yeah, it's um, it's that's a that's a great question. And, I'm, and that's probably going to be I think your brother had said most likely that's what we're going to get in episode nine in the next half. That first episode is just going to be about how all the characters oh, yeah. are are reacting to to call being bitten. What about, um, last little quick, what about, what about Daryl? How do you think Daryl is going to, I mean, obviously Daryl isn't the one that caused call to get. No, I I think there's a lot of, I like, I I like the way, the way I look at some of these characters is that they're all, a lot of these characters are on the outside and they're indifferent. Mm -hmm. So, um, Daryl, Tara, um, uh, I'll say Christian, but, um, Rosita, Rosita. Yeah. Couldn't think of her name. Rosita. I'm trying to think who else, is on the outside. All those extra characters are just going to be mournful faces in the background. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, I think it's I not going to do that. anything. So anyway, but yeah, great question. Yes. Um, all right, let's move on to our last question. So number 12, as I said, our last question, uh, it comes to us from Tom. He says, how long will they stretch out all out war? <laughs> we got so, this question a couple times. Yeah, yeah. We've, I mean, we've been, we've been kind of like talking about it this whole time. Yeah. On, the, yeah. on this episode and um man i mean at, at the very least it's going to be this season the rest of this season i definitely think so um what do you, you know think, what 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 do you what do you think about them doing it like so you figure there's going to be what 16 episodes what if they did yeah. it at around so you have 9 10 11 12 what, like what about halfway through they ended it well, what do then... you think would that be a thing is that is that is it possible I think honestly, uh, I enjoyed this first half. I know that you've there was a lot more that you were disappointed in. Yeah. So I, for me, I didn't. I really didn't. I think it was much faster than we've gotten um, from the previous uh, season or two. So for me, I really, I really wasn't so so disappointed. I definitely think it's going to go the whole the whole next the whole B side of of, yeah, of season yeah. eight. Yeah, it, yeah. I can see. Um, like we spoke about um, episode nine is going to be a big Carl, the whole Carl death thing. So we might not get um, anything to do with the fighting or anything like this. I think the middle, the, those middle four or five episodes are going to be a big base of the, the, the end of all out war. And I can see the last couple episodes maybe being, will we get, the question is, will we get a time jump in this, um, the end of this season or will they save the jump for for season nine? What would you I think prefer? That, would you prefer I, seeing it at the end, of, like the very end of this yeah, season, I think the it, last I think five it'll minutes, be weird. or the beginning yeah. of the next one? Yeah, I think it'll be odd if they just if we start season nine not knowing, and then all of a sudden they they've jumped. I think they're going to give us hints of it, or there is going to be um, that proof that the all at war is over. There's going to be some positive times there's going to be a morning time there's going to be um listen alexandria is decimated right mm-hmm. so i know that in the comic book um, well it's a back well oh yeah no there's yeah. a lot of rebuilding in the time jump there's a there's a rebuilding of alexandria they they fortify these 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 different compounds mm-hmm. and there are characters that that go back and forth to hilltop to the kingdom and you know what i mean so there there's a lot more fortification there's a lot more unification of all the three different cuz it's three different locations but they're one mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's that safe zone it's that whole thing so uh, i definitely think that we're going to get a bulk of the fighting in those middle four episodes or so four or five episodes yeah. Um, and and we'll save the end, you know, for a, a glimpse of of the jump. But um, I want to ask what obviously what I want you to answer the question. But do you think we, with the show and not knowing where it's going to go and how many more seasons, do you think you kind of answered it already? But I have a feeling that they could kill Negan, and will we see that? Yeah, the thing is. I don't know. People are really frustrated with this and hoping that the war would have been shorter. And there's so many people that we all spoke but to. But war that... aside, killing Negan is not the war. Again, spoilers, guys. Sorry, but <laughs> the war ends in the comic, and Negan isn't dead. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, and that's all I'll say. If I'm enticing you to go read the comic, get your butt off the ground and go read the comic. But 
to your butt off the ground. Yeah, I don't know why your butt's on the ground. Just chair, we, the chair, people, our chair, viewers, yeah, yeah our viewers don't have chairs. Like. You know, just, just lay on the ground watching. <laughs> just sitting like, yeah. On, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I just, I, I don't know. I, I well, what know. do you? I mean, what do you think? Do you think, like I said, do you think how do how are these next eight going to be set up? Do you think we'll get a time jump? Do you think it'll be the whole the whole eight? Of I think just I think yeah, it's going to go to the end, and then the la- in the yeah. last episode, we're going to get a portion of the last episode, the time mm-hmm. jump. But I think it's going to be the last five minutes because it's going to be some mm-hmm. cheesy. I think it's going to be some cheesy crap like that. I think it's going to be yeah. like the last five minutes. It's going to be like it's going to go back to that initial. Because don't forget. We don't. We have not seen. We saw two things. We saw the time jump where he wakes up with the short hair and the beard and the cane and the and the kid and and then we saw him upset with a with a stained glass thing up in the you know by over here and he and he's upset yeah. looking around yeah. the whole Rick you know upset way and what is that? Who is that? Where is that? Is that I Carl? That- is that what yeah. is it? So we're going to, this is something that they should have been flashing back to throughout mm-hmm. this ep- the thing, but they haven't. So now we're going to get it. When are we going to start seeing like, it's just very disjointed. So if anything, I think it's going to be cheesy and be the last five minutes. And then you're going to be left like, okay. All right. What's going to happen yeah. now? I don't know. All right. all right so all right i think that's gonna do it mike um yes sir again uh so what i'm gonna say is thank you everybody once again for making this a very um fun and interesting and fulfilling question and answer video uh we we always get really good questions from you guys and you guys you guys do not disappoint so thank you so much for that and we're just glad that we could answer your questions and stuff Absolutely. Okay. So uh, thanks er- again for everybody getting those questions in. We've really enjoyed doing this kind of a thing. And of course, uh, check us out on Third Person Pod on all the social medias. Um, hey, look at our other videos on YouTube. Show us some love there. Um, and of course, have a safe and healthy holiday. That's right. That's right, guys. And uh, so as we're winding down for the for the new for the new year here, uh, like yes. Mike said. You can go check out those other videos. But if also, if you wanted to get yourself some comics, uh, speaking right. about all these comics, uh, we haven't mentioned that in a while, but we're still uh, affiliated with comicblitz.com. You go to comicblitz.com. You put the per- you put uh, the third person pod code in. That was weird, but we have promo code <laughs> third person pod. You can get yourself some comics. You can get three months of unlimited comics for only three dollars. Uh, you just pay three bucks. It's a dollar a month for three months, and uh, you get yourself unlimited comics and check out their service and see what you like. So go ahead and do that because that's a cool thing, uh, especially for the holidays. Yeah, a, if you get a little a great few deal. extra bucks from your get some gift cards and stuff, you know, you're gonna be <laughs> buying stuff online. Why not? Um, and then lastly, uh, our Retro Squad. It's a, it's another podcast that I do, and what we do there is we take classics from mostly from the '80s and '90s, and we we mix them together and we come up with something new. So, uh, you know, check for it example, out. We did on one episode. We did Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, and Homeward Bound, and we th- th- they were randomly chosen. And me and my buddy Kenny, we had to just combine the two and come up with something in the middle of that and it, you know uh and it was pretty funny usually it's a prequel or a sequel or sometimes it's a spinoff um but we also go through these other these classics and we talk about them and like some of the stuff like you didn't know about like the, the tv show superboy or punky brewster like it's just really cool and we do video games tv shows uh movies and cartoons also so it's a really cool show and uh yeah just check out retrosquat.com or any of our socials at retrosquat i'm um, trying to grow that a little bit too so if you guys want to go check that out that'd be awesome if you could watch that stuff over there sure. we're also on youtube itunes we're all, we're all over the place too so we put up video stuff too so that's it guys uh so once again here from third person thank you so much for all the questions thank you for watching thank you for the support have a great holiday and we will see you guys in the new year